What's going on guys, Firewolf Tech here, showing you guys the 2 terabyte Samsung 980 Pro with heatsink. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all around as well as how to install this SSD on your PS5. So first things first, the most important part when shopping for an SSD for a PS5 is to make sure that it has the heatsink on it because those will be the only ones compatible for your PS5. So let's go ahead and unbox this. All right, now that we have that off, we should be able to slide this out. All right, here we have Samsung solid state drive. It looks like I have the box upside down. And there we have the NVMe SSD drive over here. Let's go ahead and take this out. Definitely looks really nice and beautiful. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the face plate here. Now you wanna do this on the right side of the PS5. I have a digital edition and the NVMe slot, slot is gonna be on this side right over here. So the first thing you wanna do is basically take off the face plate. You just wanna lift this up and to the right. It should pop out. Now you will see a couple of wires here. Now this is an RGB ring light that I had installed on in a prior video. So you guys can definitely check that out. So to remove this slot here we're going to use a phillips screwdriver right here it's going to be the smallest kind and we're just going to unscrew this screw here all right and now we're ready to take this out all right so after removing the cover here we're going to notice uh, four different uh, screw slots over here and we have a spacer right over here so what we're gonna do is we wanna first see which one of these um, holes that our SSD is going to take. So the 980 Pro, um, we're gonna first angle it upwards and kind of slide it inside this slot over here. All right, so once it's angled in, I can see that the spacer and the screw needs to go on this side over here. So I'm gonna take it out again. And we're gonna take off the spacer over here. All right, now we're gonna align the spacer on this position right over here and now we're going to take our SSD again and we're going to angle it and we're going to put it inside the slot and make sure when you guys are putting it in you guys you know make sure it's all the way in and you just kind of see like it's a little bit flimsy Then we're going to take the screw again and now we're going to screw it against the spacer you don't want to tighten it so much so just enough where you see the SSD now stays into place. Now we're gonna take the slot cover over here and we're going to position it back. And then re-screw it back in. All right, so with that screw again, we're going to apply the faceplate back. And again, the one that I have here is the black faceplate with uh, cooling vents. So we're just going to position it in an angle to make sure everything falls into place. And then we're gonna snap it to the right. So I'm sorry, to the left, you should hear a nice snap letting us know that the faceplate is on and now it's ready to turn on the PS5. All right, once you power it on, you're automatically greeted to the screen right over here. So all you have to do is click on the format M.2 SSD and your PS5 will automatically format it so it's ready. Now you may get a warning label letting you know that the SSD read speeds aren't as high, but um, this SSD should have really high read speed so I wouldn't be concerned about that. And once you have it formatted, it's ready to check the storage. All right, checking the storage here, you're gonna notice two separate storages, which is console storage and N.2, and it automatically recognizes the Samsung 980 Pro with heatsink two terabytes. And when you go all the way down to installation locations, we can switch the new games and applications that are installed automatically to the SSD, which I'm gonna do right over here. All right, and then um, currently I have two games installed, so I'm going to move the Modern Warfare 2 and the Astro Playroom into the M.2 SSD so you can see how long it'll take. So it's about 82 gigabytes total in size. And as you can see, moving it, it automatically detects it's gonna take around 80 seconds or 70 seconds, and it moves fairly quickly. So I highly recommend getting an internal SSD so you can have more storage for more games. The PS5 only comes with 825 gigabytes with only 667 gigabytes of usable storage. So with this two terabyte SSD, you now have a total of 2,825 gigs with about 2,600 
gigabytes of free storage. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys.